What's up everyone, this is Super Super Marcel and welcome back to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis Jurassic March. Um, in the last episode, what was supposed to be happening was that I, I was making, I was, I was going to move the Pachycephalosaurus, not now Ludlow. Um, we, we were moving the Pachycephalosaurus, we were going to put them in with the Taurosauruses. Uh, in this enclosure right here, right? And replace it with prenocephalates. That's what was supposed to happen. But, um, if we just, if I just quickly, hold on. I'm going to save. I'm going to quickly save. Right. But essentially, what happened was, I, I, for some reason, okay. So let me just get a quick context, right? So if I get like, um, a, a building, right? Uh, like a little kiosk, right? My bracket button Message from is the Grant. is the turnaround, right? It, it switches wh where you face your building, right? That's what my bracket does. So theoretically, I thought, oh, well, if I press bracket on the dinosaur, that'll switch me to the next dinosaur individual, right? No, no, watch what happens. What? Hold on. What is this magic read? What did I press? <laughs> what? Oh great, now I just look like an insane person. What did I do? What did I even do? <laughs> Was it a Taurosaurus spe specifically? What? What? Game, you're making me look like a nutter. I swear, okay, all right, hear me out. I don't know why, but for some reason off camera when I pressed bracket, bloody, from Dr. It, the Grim Reaper just came and killed everyone for some reason. Welcome back. I'm trying all different kind of types of combinations to find out what I did. But for some reason, yeah, I, pre I pressed the bracket button. I don't know why it's not doing now, but like literally every guest that was in the park just died. They just, they were just straight up on the floor, just dead. Like a literal wave of Grim Reaper's touch just came by and killed everyone. That happened off camera, so I had to quickly go back to, to the save that I last recorded. Which meant that a lot of the DNA that I extracted in the previous episode didn't happen and instead I got different results and stuff, right? That was so weird! Why did that happen? Of course, now that I'm filming it doesn't happen! God damn you! Oh, uh, fine. But whatever. Well, we were supposed to get the prenocephalase, but, you know, the save files got weird. So now we gotta make a different plan, right? Uh, if we, the, the plan the plan is still set, I still will eventually move the Pachycephalosaurus and replace them with Prenocephalae and other Mongolian herbivores. But in the meantime, um, we have increased the DNA, finally, of Acrocanthosaurus. Did I actually start the timer? I don't know if I, I did not start the timer. Hold on. <laughs> How much have I recorded so far? Right, we're three minutes in, so just 17 minutes, okay. Right, so I'm going to quickly have a look at the Please. fossil market, see if we got Message any acrocanthosaurus remains. No, because I feel like if we just increase the DNA just at least Would one more like time, speech? we'll be good to go with acrocanthosaurus. Good choice. Um, I'm thinking of, right, building the Acrocanthosaurus enclosure here, so like here would be a good spot, you know, just like do do do, do, uh, is this good enough? Oh, I feel like this is a bit too small, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll increase it just one more. Message from Dr. Grant. Okay. This is... 
Mm, not great, but hold on. Oh wait, no, 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 this can work. Yeah, we'll blend it in with the mountain. Message from Doctor Wu. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah, no, no now we got it good. All right, now we we're, we're settled now. Okay then. Uh, let's see. What should we do here? Right, back our source, sure. I just yes. want to check quickly. Did I, I? I remember removing a dig team from like this area, right? Is it here that I get? No, it's below. It's this area, isn't it? Acre Canvasaurus Site A. And I got one team who's exhausted. I got a lot of money. Might as well spend it on that area. Okay. Now hopefully we'll get more Acrocanthosaurus remains over there. And then we can finally, officially, get Acrocanthosaurus. Of course, we've got some other dinosaurs here and there as well. Let me just quickly look through the roster. Gallimimus, Prinocephaly, Homalocephaly, all of which will, will be eventually be in the enclosure where the Pachycephalosaurus is currently at. We have Hypacrosaurus. Type of Mongolian uh, Carifosaur. Is it Mongolian? It was Asian, I know that much. Uh, I'll figure something out with that guy eventually. Alberta Source, I'm debating whether or not I would actually put into the park. Might do. No, I think the model looks okay enough, and we haven't actually got an Alberta Source last year, so it's definitely a possibility. And Acrocryphosaurus we're working on right now. Okay. What would you recommend in this situation? Yes. All right. I guess we're just doing the waiting game now. Although now thinking about it, uh, I think I might as well just satisfy the guests for now. Get some things here and there to do. Urgent message from Doctor Sapphire. How Stafford. far can this go? Ooh, we can go in there. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? This is looking very dangerous. Message from Dr. Wu. Torosaurus collapsed again? I don't know what is going on with the Torosauruses. For some reason, the Torosauruses are so fixated on this corner. And they just do nothing but walk around and be in this corner. They never... They rarely stop and sleep. And they hardly ever eat. And drink. They just keep walking here for some reason. What is it about this corner that they like so much? Also, I I never stop to ask. But what the hell does the tree symbol mean? Thinking of family and friends back home? Why not purchase some official Jurassic Park souvenirs to really make the chances? Uh, No, why not? We'll get the the, the um the old allure. No, Cephalae is now at 60%. Torosaurus. Okay, so what does that make right Homalocephalae then? Uh, Homalocephalae is still at six months. No, I would. I don't want to get it just yet because that's six months in this game is pretty back. short. We'll wait just a little bit longer. Okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, well, now that we get actually got the um, I guess the souvenir stand, we might as well do do Message stuff with from it. Doctor Grant. Put it places and all that juicy jazz. from Dr. Grant. Message from Dr. Grant. What would you like Alright, Grant, what is it? Grievousaurus? Okay. 
Good choice. I'm still debating whether or not I want to get Kreefasaurus into the park. I can't remember if we actually had Kreefasaurus last year. I don't think we did, but yet again, I don't even remember if we even explored the bloody um, Hell Creek area in the first place. It's hard to remember, but we'll keep moving on. Keep on moving on. Message from Dr. Wu. Well, New shipment. Alright, what do we got? From the park administrator. A mammoth, Epilei, Diabloceratops, T-Rex, Gallimimus, Tintasaurus, Velociraptor, Diabloceratops, Acrocanthosaurus! Good choice. Get that. Thank you, Grant. Gallimimus, Tintasaurus. Alright, cool. Like do I don't care. Alright, we'll just extract these and then, yeah, we will f uh, finally actually get Acrocanthosaurus, which would be pretty exciting. Definitely would think it would be it's cool to talk to about Acrocanthosaurus. Uh, let's have a look. So, we can just get a hatchery. Message from Dr. Wu. I am going to have to remove this mount a bit of this mountain though, so. Message from Dr. Grant. Oh yeah, the ch the chairs. I should probably do something about the chairs and stuff. Yeah, and the bins. Hmm. It's good to know you're keeping it. Yep. Acrocanthosaurus is wait. DNA sequence has been completed on Acrocanthosaurus. We now have it 100%. Woohoo! All right. Okay, we'll yeah, just get one because one's Dr. fine Sarah. enough. You know, we don't want it to get aggro. Five years, pretty good. Let's have a look at this tough guy. Here we go, ladies right. and gentlemen. Without further ado, here is Acrocanthosaurus. Of course, we're gonna have to wait just a little bit. Uh, we have eight minutes. Hell yeah, we'll just, talk, just get the dinosaur happening. and what talk about do? this guy. While we do that, we once again right. save the Taurosaurus from being in a coma because for some reason they just do that. <laughs> oh, but... We are pleased to announce our newest arrival to that was Jurassic fast. Park, the terrifying Acrocanthosaurus. Oh. Fast dino carnage will not be Look at its eyes. I like the coloration. It's like a, like, um... It's like an owl, almost. Like a super predator owl, you know? Like if an owl became gigantic, lost its ability to fly, but decided to revert back to its dinosaur roots, this is what an owl it would look like. <laughs> Can you look after this while I get a soda? Message from Doctor. Uh, why? Okay, I was doing something before that was happening. I don't remember what it was. Welcome okay, back. whatever. Our Acrocanthosaurus. Here we go. So, yeah, this Message is. From a well-beloved dinosaur in a dinosaur community, I'm sure. Acrocanthosaurus is pretty cool, though. You know, um, it, w it lives in the same formation that a uh, Utah Raptor is found. So it lived with Utah Raptor and probably hunted dinosaurs like Centaurosaurus and maybe Gastonia if it's lucky. Um, Gastonia, of course, being a notosaurid ankylosaur uh, dinosaur. But the the cool thing. The unique thing about um, Acrocanthosaurus that's very distinguishable uh, to other dinosaurs is its spine, and you can see it from this model, you know, they, they, they kind of, yeah, they, it's, Acrocanthosaurus has this weird, like, kind of 
you know, it's kind of like Spinosaurus, you know, but not nearly as exaggerated and huge. You know, it, it's got this, you know, pointed out spine. They've seen some iterations which made it into a humpback, which could also be a cool idea, you know, like, kind of like a Hamel's hump. Uh, got a lot of stuff, Jesus. Let's sell Diablo Ceratops. Absolutely. And extract the rest. But from another viewpoint, this is pretty cool for me to talk about in my field of area. Uh, Acrocanthosaurus is one of the rare few occasions where it's like, um, it's a North American Carcharodontosaur. So Acrocanthosaurus is a part of the Carcharodontosaurus. So that includes dinosaurs like Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus itself, you know, Mapusaurus. You know, which are essentially these uh, kind of like, you know, huge T-Rex sized predatory dinosaurs with uh, elongated skulls, sort of. Um, you know, not quite as a strong bite force, but very sharp serrated teeth. In fact, the Carcarodontosaurus means sharp toothed lizard. So they're, they're, they're pretty ferocious. Uh, maybe even taken on the likes to hunt sauropods. But yeah, like, I can't the majority of Carcarodontosaurus species were found within the southern yeah, regions of the planet, move. you know, like South America and um, Africa and stuff like that. But Acrocanthosaurus, yeah, it's it's the rare exception. It's a North American dinosaur. It's a dinosaur found in North America, like I said, found with Utah Raptor, and it's pretty cool. Would you like us to do? Yeah. It's a very cool dinosaur, this dinosaur. Well, we can just get a new dick side right now. Oh, uh, because we got in a new star. I see. Hey! Hold on. Hi! <laughs> hmm. I will make it 1,500. There we go. Oh yeah, so I, I feel like this dinosaur will definitely, hopefully, get people go going over here. Uh, I mean, it is a large ferropod dinosaur. What is its rating? Four star. Yeah, that's why I thought a dinosaur like this would definitely have a high rating. Not quite five star, but like pretty close though. Four star is pretty good. I'm definitely sure people will come over here and see yeah, this ferocious dinosaur. Hell yeah. Do we have time left? We got three minutes to do other stuff. I really like the model. I like what you did with the eye though. Really, you know. It feels kind of natural, the eye. Really, really natural. Like, it doesn't look scary. Of course, of course, being with this dinosaur is scary, but, you know, it's not like over-exaggerated scary looking. Like, it looks like, you know, an animal, you know? Like, if you look at, like, something like a bear or a wolf or even a lion, you know, they're predatory animals and, you know, they're scary looking. And of course they would eat you, but they're not like, you know, like, demons. <laughs> they're not like... <laughs> no, so I really appreciate how this at this dinosaur looks, you know. It's, it's still ferocious looking, and, but like, kind of looks, has that almost wisdom look to it, you know. I've really grown to appreciate dinosaurs like Acrocanthosaurus. It's a really cool dinosaur, I reckon. I feel like this might be a bit too much room, honestly. Even for a dinosaur like this guy, but yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll like what I'll do is uh, I'll split the path. Now I have like a, a viewing tower or something up here. Yeah. Message from Doctor Grant. The flare platform. You see him? There he is. You just see its hump, the back of it. Watch as it eats a goat. Well, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll give it more of a challenge, you know? A cow. A real proper hunt instead of just like these tiny pest green goats. A real meal for a big guy like this. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, okay, so we got that done sorted out. Now we gotta figure out what else we gotta do. We still need to um, replace the Pachycephalosaurus Great to see you again. with the Prenocephalae. We'll love to talk about Prenocephalae, Gallimimus, and uh, Homalocephalae. Yeah, 
There's the roll of this. Diabloceratops. I've got a lot of messages actually. Can you spare a minute to look at this? Alright, well, what is it? I guess now that we got a full on big ferropod dinosaur, we should probably start focusing a little Message bit on. Um. Yeah. Security. Okay. This is a major problem for us. You must act immediately. For God's sakes. Hmm. Good to see you. Yellow Iris, the Pachysaurus, Diabloceratops. Sell the Diabloceratops. Not gonna get that dinosaur. Uh, but I will extract the Gallimimus. Okay. Yeah, like seeing that's how now we got um now yeah now I remember what it was so we now got Acrocanthosaurus so there's no need for me in fact it's on a hundred percent so there's no need for me to go to that area anymore stop it right there okay uh I guess what we'll do I have one dig team like here let you guys finish and I'll send another dig team like around about here. So apparently is not great but oh well all right is that it is that all one two three four five back down there okay oh yeah welcome back okay let's end this video but all right oh uh, <laughs> you can see him eyeing the janitor <laughs> i'm gonna eat you when i break out of here Message from Dr. Wu. <laughs> okay, but if you, hell yeah, but if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I'm Super Super Marcel. Make sure you roar, have a super super time. Bye bye! Roar? You don't really roar, don't you? Yeah. Kind of a chill, Ferropod, really. Mm -hmm.